What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I've been in monk mode lately. Basically what monk mode is for me is it's the time in between um, winter and spring, right when everybody else winds down from doing all of their New Year's resolutions and they start to fall off and, you know, people fall off at a lot of things. Finances, being focused, they start buying stuff. Uh, boys want to be city boys. Girls want to be hot girls. You know, they want to have a hot girl summer, all of that. So I go into monk mode um, a little bit before my birthday. So this video will drop tomorrow. So it'll be March 31st. Birthday, April 13th, gonna be popping. Um, I'm about to head over to Miami for a little bit. And uh, we're gonna grind, we're gonna work out, we're gonna get focused. And then I'm also heading down to Houston right after that. And then Vegas for the Patreon exclusive meetup. If you're not a part of the Patreon, link is in the description as well as, uh, if you're premiering this, it's, uh, to the top of the chat if you're not it's just in the description but we're doing great things this saturday we got the uh the live stream exclusively for patreon members where we're going to talk about investments and we're going to start putting together a specific investment um stay tuned for that that's going to be lit but in addition to that monk mode is largely just me really really starting to focus and get dedicated to the thing that's going to add the most value to my life or the things that's going to add the most values to my life which includes fitness finances, hustling and grinding, leveling up in corporate America, and then making sure I cultivate my businesses. I got a new website that's launching um, sometime next month, hopefully by the end of next month. Then we're gonna start working on an app, and then we're gonna start rededicating ourselves to the other apps that we've been working on. So I got a lot going on, Con contemplating taking on a new CTO position, um, in addition to the corporate position that I got on now, still putting out this content creation, hiring people for my team, so that we can make our job easier and I can focus on doing the things that's going to add the most value to the company instead of all of the tedious work that we got going on. So, so much happening, so much going on. But in addition to that, um, I just want to break down why I go into monk mode, especially with me being so outgoing, right? Got the Pistons game wind, winding down. I think we've got three more in the season. Got the Dallas Mavericks, 76ers, and the Bucks, the Milwaukee Bucks, my, my team for the year. And um, we grind, we hit it, we grind. And somehow, some way, I still occasionally wind up going out, but that's not even for me. That's really just to make sure that I spend time with my chick. Let me break it down for you. Let me give you guys an update on my Porsche. I know I ain't gave y'all no update in a while. Look how dirty my junk is. Look at all this dirt, let me show you. Look at all that dirt and grime. This mug ain't been washed in a minute. I actually came out here so uh, this is the overflow area for a lot of my sneakers. So I uh, came out here to grab these specifically. I'm a fan of the 450s. When I first started seeing them, I thought they were super duper ugly. But um, I need a pair to take with me to the MIAO. And uh, I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But um, in addition to that, uh, just giving you guys a quick update on what's going on with the Porsche, uh, the insurance company and all of that, yeah, everything is going on. But I don't want to leave my junk at the dealership because the insurance company is like, yo, don't leave your stuff at the dealership considering that, um, you know, everything that's going on with the Porsche, it's going to take all the way up until May to finish getting all of the parts in in order to get this mug fixed. So I'm not leaving my Porsche up at the dealership. It's unfortunate because of the part shortage and that this is a foreign car, which means all of the parts have to come over from Germany and it's one part in particular that they have to get fixed. So it's just this part right here, just this little part right here. But again, I'm not, um, I don't believe in that. So I got my 450s and I'm about to head out. And I got to go make some runs. I haven't even been out the house in a while. I feel like I'm a, I'm 100% certified monk now. But let me give you some insight again on why it is that I'm going into monk mode. So monk mode is when you just really just bury yourself in growth, work, hustle, grind, all of the things that allow you to really, really come out and you just kind of disappear. In my case, 
I can't really disappear because I'm a visible person, right? I make videos, I do live streams, I drop vlogs, I kick it with y'all, I do coaching. So to a larger extent, you don't really get to see the idea behind Monk Mode for me, but it's like an adjusted Monk Mode in that I'm not spending a whole lot of time out in the streets. Go to the Pistons game, sporadically, you haven't really seen me there a lot. I've been giving them the clients and people that I do business with, hanging out there, but occasionally I show up. Um, I'm not going to any more games this year. I think it's three more again. It's the uh, 76ers, the Dallas Mavericks, and the Bucks, as I've already mentioned. But I won't be in any of those because I'm going down to Miami. A lot of people think I'm going down to Miami to party. I'm really not. I'm really not. I'm going to be there with her right here. Look at her. Creeping around the corner, looking like a snack as usual. I see you, Rita. I see you, Rita. You know she's always with me. You know she's somewhere. Even if you don't think that she's around, she's somewhere but we in monk mode right we dedicating ourselves we grinding we working out um we pushing but monk mode for me is largely just based off of the work uh around spring it's coming out of the winter and then you're going into spring and then right before summer that's when you really really want to hit it because you want to spend the majority of your your summer having a ball right a lot of people just want to party all the time I'm not like that. Like, I understand that there's gonna be times when you have to rededicate yourself to certain things and all of that. I'm not like that. Like, I kind of sort of dedicate myself to the grind and I work really, 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 really hard so I can do what I wanna do for a long time. And, and very few people are able to do that. Very few people are able to stay down like that. One of the ways I've been able to stay down like that is because I've conditioned myself since the very beginning to be able to do so, right? Meaning that, why am I even over here? Meaning that, um, for example, just even becoming successful in the first place, you know, I stayed down for a long time. I mean, I literally was down for like 10 years or something, um, close to 10 years as far as not even spending any money, stacking, investing, putting every single dime that I had into every asset that I can find, including real estate and stocks and um, Tesla and Apple and all that stuff and now I can do whatever the fuck I want to do when I want to yep I can talk how I want to I can move how I want to and anybody can't nobody can do or say anything about it right I'm in a position of power at the corporate positions I'm actually looking to, to take a new position based off of a startup that I've been kicking it with somebody you know has been rocking with me for an extended period of time and so we working on that we got apps we got everything that's coming on and so since I got everything popping off, I'm just really, really focused and zoned in on getting that in. Even so much so to where I haven't been able to go out as much as I usually have. I used to go out like, what, once a day? Once every afternoon? Now it's once every two or three days. I mean, being in a crib, it's a really nice crib. Got a gym in there, got conference rooms, got a yoga studio, nice high ceilings, good views. But being down there for the last three days, but then I'm gonna be in Miami for the next one or two weeks is the very definition of working hard so you can do what you wanna do. So monk mode for me is just kinda like, I can't really disappear off the radar, but I can rededicate myself to the grind and the hustle. And I think very few people are able to master that. And as a result, they don't get the results, right? A lot of people gonna complain. A lot of people gonna sit here and whine because they have this monotonous way of living their life, but they're not intentional. <laughs> they know nothing about how to dedicate themselves in a certain type of way in order to get the results that they want. I got some cooking up to do on the Lapeef Let's Talk show tonight. I think it's gonna be an absolutely great, phenomenal show. Um, I kinda put away the Rolexes. I'm gonna take them with me to Miami, but put away the Rolexes. I'm back on Apple Watch time, and it's grind time, man. It's time to get it, it's time to actually run a check up, run the numbers up and have a good time and, and, and enjoy what we're doing. You know, the thing about it is just that even when I'm working and even when I'm grinding, it's not work for me. It's just, it's enjoyable. And I'm not, I don't care if it's content creation. I don't care about if it's, you know, corporate work, business, property, all of that. You know, I take my lumps and my bruises and I take my successes just like everybody else, but I enjoy it. And that's the way in which I even... Uh, make sure that I don't get burnt out is that I enjoy what it is that I do and I love it and it gives me peace to know that I'm progressing and I'm growing and I'm creating something that 
the world will enjoy, whether it's an application or whether it's uh, some content for you guys to consume like I'm doing right now. Hopefully, I'm always adding value in that in, in addition to entertaining. And sometimes I just like to have some, some conversations and some real talks. But ultimately, it's all for the good and it's all for the benefit of other people. If you haven't already, make sure you join the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat um, if you're premiering this. And... Uh, in addition to that, we got a nice little dope meetup coming in Las Vegas in May. And we're doing an investor series this weekend. So that's going to be dope. Giving equity to the people that helped me put this thing together. Not from a financial perspective, but all I need is your business acumen and help me vet out some ideas. It's going to be dope. We're doing that on the weekend. So love you. Appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you in a little bit. Peace.